<laughs> what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, we are at it now, about to place us some Baldur's Gate. But like always, the ritual around here, I gotta make sure everything is running smoothly, running fine. All my titles got updated. So we're just having a quick checky up on that, you know what I'm saying? It looks like that's going good on Facebook. There we go, there we go. Right over here on good old Twitch. How we doing over here? Twitch. Oh god, the echo's gonna happen. Uh, that's running really nice and fine. That's running good. Also on YouTube, we are up and running. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to that sober gamer. My name is Ian, and we are going to be Zordon. I'm doing my intro. Leave me alone, buddy. <laughs> there he goes again. Uh, I'm excited for this one, you guys. Just as all of you have been, I am excited for Baldur's Gate 3. This is the early access that just came out today. As a matter of fact, this is not even a normal day for me to stream. Normally, I stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But, you, you know, you, you just you have to stream Baldur's Gate when Baldur's Gate comes out. You know, there's just no getting around it. So the only thing I've done so far is I have come in here to my options and I've set my audio. I just spent the past, like, I want to say 40 minutes or so messing with my audio. Make sure it all sounds good for you guys out there. But I wanted to do everything else on video, on stream, on the recording, which, by the way, all of my recordings are uploaded to YouTube later on. But I wanted to go through here and I wanted to go through all the options with you guys because this is early access. A lot of people don't... Uh, have it right now. Also, if the sound is too loud, let me know and I will correct that on the next stream. So, gameplay. Default online settings. Online game visibility, nobody. I'm gonna keep that. Direct connection, sure, sure, sure. Autosave, absolutely. Number of autosaves, 15. Quick saves, 15. I don't know, I'll figure out what that is later, I guess. I imagine cross-save must be from different consoles to your PC or whatnot. I'm not sure, but I'm playing on PC right now, as you can obviously tell. Oh, what else? We got uh, show subtitles. Yes. I want my subtitles, and I might do show speaker just to see what it is, but that will be later on. Rotating minimap. Yeah, I'm going to have that on. I, that's what I normally have. Tutorials. Always show item stack splitter. Sure, I guess I'll see what that is later on in the game. Uh, piece highlights. What is... I'm probably going to go with a lot of defaults for the first little foray into the world of Baldur's Gate. Combat highlight circle, circle. Me uh, unit system metric. Imperial. Bros. Bros. We're in America. <laughs> We're in America. We go on the Imperial system, buddy. <laughs> Alright. Lock mouse to window. Uh nah. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Edge panning, sure, sure. Sure. Dynamic camera, yes. Camera shake, absolutely not. Attack camera, I don't know what that is. Whatever. And the bottom bar. I'm just gonna keep a lot of this as default. Twitch in there's Twitch integration, you guys. Ooh. By the way, I am streaming on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook right now, and it's good to see you guys. Welcome to the stream. So, I might have to mess around with Twitch integration later on. I love it when games do that. Borderlands 3 had a great Twitch integration mode. It was amazing. So let's go ahead and go up here to the top to my keybinds. These all appear to be pretty much normal. Camera forward, left, right. Yep, yep, yep. Camera backwards, S. Yeah, all that's exactly pretty much how I want it. I am going to come here to my master volume. I'm going to turn this down a tad. It sounds loud. It sounds really loud, but if it's not, then please let me know and I will fix it accordingly. But I'm pretty much going to keep all those the way it is. And video, here's the big one. I do not have a chump PC. I have a pretty pretty good system here so hopefully I should be able to run all of this very well 
I'm going to take my resolution down to 60 hertz, so the refresh rate is going to be at 60. Because it's better for recording that way. I mean, I can't record really anything better than 60. He doesn't catch up to it or nothing. Let's go and do that. Unless my mouse feels completely weird for going down, then I'll fix that, but whatever. Frame rate cap enabled. Yes, please. Take it down to 60. There it is, buddy. The background music was a little bit loud. Awesome, awesome. Glad I was able to fix that. How is it uh, sounding now? Is it doing is it doing good now? What is this with the V-Seek? Double buffering? Triple buffering? Why can't you just say on? <laughs> uh, we're going to disable it for now because I have my screen cap at 60, so it should be... Should be fine, yeah. Frame rate cap 60, yep, yep, yep. Overall preset ultra. I'm gonna keep it at ultra. We're gonna come down here, model quality. You know what, yeah, we're just gonna keep everything here at ultra. And we're gonna probably just go with this. We're just gonna see how well it runs out the gate on their preset they choose. Like I said, I have a pretty beastly system, so. It should be good. The sounds good? Excellent. It's very good to know. Thank you. So without further ado, guys, here we are. Baldur's Gate 3, man. <laughs> I, I can't believe it's been... Baldur's Gate 2 released, what, in 2000? So it's been, what, like 20 years in the waiting for this? Man. And by the way, the company that made this game made, I believe, uh, Divinity Original Sin 2, which is widely regarded as the best CRPG game to date currently. And, well, I'm currently playing through it myself. It's pretty boss, I'm not gonna lie. So let's go ahead and make a new profile. Give your new profile a name. That Sober Gamer, that's me. Boom, good stuff. Accept, yeah, sure. <laughs> new game, multiplayer, ooh, there's multiplayer. Bruh. I wonder if they're gonna integrate that like they did with a, a Divinity Original Sin with the DM guide and all that jazz. That, that was a really cool concept. I've never done it myself, but whatever. All right, let's go and see what this is here. Come on, Windows Defender, leave me alone. Windows Defender's always popping up on you, isn't it? Let me get rid of my face for you guys. Oh, dudes. I'm so not okay with what I just saw right there. Oh my god. <laughs> god. Man, mind flayers, bro. They just. 
Mm. <laughs> oh god. Bad worm things indeed. Gross. Jesus. All right, then character creation screen. I never take too long doing my character creations in these types of games. But I'm going to have a quick like pretty good gander at what we can all do here, which by the way, this is early access, so they will be adding in a ton of stuff, new classes, new races, builds, all kinds of stuff in their progression up to 1.0 release. But even though this is early access, they're not a company to really, you know, stir away from making it even amazing good here. So my origin, yeah, I'm going to do custom over here. I am going to do female. I do female in a lot of my games. I don't know why, it's just something that I prefer. Over here, my character name, I'm just going to name it right now. Zahia. That is a common name that I use for RPGs alike because uh, it's one of my old buddies from World of Warcraft back in classic days. His human priest, female, was named uh, Zahia. And it, it's, a, it's in honor of his character, and I just, I just love it. So all these here, yeah, not available in early access yet, early access yet. These are the other playable characters that you can choose with backstories. Very similar to Divinity Original Sin 2, they had something similar to that. Uh, background. Acolyte. What's an acolyte? You have spent your life in service to a temple, learning sacred rites and providing sacrifices to the god or gods you worship. Background features insight proficiency, religion proficiency. Okay, um... Charlatan. You're an expert in manipulation, prone to exaggeration, and more than happy to profit from it. I might pick that. Because, as it says, guys... Early access gives me a rare opportunity that I don't normally do. I am going to be an evil character, sociopath, not nice, I'm a very mean person. A criminal, maybe I'll be a criminal. That could be cool. You have a history of breaking the law and survive by leveraging less than legal connections. Okay. Uh, entertainer, you live a sway. You live to sway and subvert your audience. Engaging common crowds and highly so high society alike. Folk hero. You're a champion of the common people. Challenging tyrants and monsters to protect the helpless. Nah, 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 nah. We ain't doing that. Guild artisan. Your skills in a particular craft has earned you membership in a mercantile guild. Offering privileges and protection while engaging in your art. No, I'm not going to do that. Noble? Absolutely not. Hermit? Oh, maybe. I'm a hermit in real life, so uh, this could be interesting. You were once sworn to seclusion and continue to prefer solitude over the chaos of society. Outlander, you grew up in the wilds, learning to survive far from the comforts of civilization. That spelled wrong? Civil I S A T? Isn't there a Z? Am I being ignorant and dumb? Isn't there normally a Z in there? Whatever, early access, it's fine. Sage, you are curious and well-read, with an unending thirst for knowledge. I could do that, actually. I don't think that that, that could definitely be an evil character. Sailor? No, not gonna be a sailor. Not gonna be a soldier. Urchin, after surviving a childhood on the streets, you know how to make the most out of very little. Okay. Acolyte, and here we are back here now. So I want to do charlatan or criminal. I'm leaning towards charlatan because of the deception and sleight of hand and whatnot. So yeah, we're gonna go charlatan on this one. That sounds good. Uh, let's go up here. So that's just, that's just my origin. Let's go to race. Let's see who I want to uh, be associated with. Elf, Tifling. Ooh, girl, digging the horns. Drow. Mm, drow elves. Mm. Civilization, yes, needs to be a Z. Autocorrect on my phone says so. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. I thought so. I absolutely thought that was spelled wrong, but I, I was feigning ignorance for a minute there. <laughs> drow elf. Now, drow elf are normally what I go with in all these games. 
Like back in the day on EverQuest and whatnot, I always went Drow Elf. I just, I really like them. First time I did Skyrim, I was the Dark Elf type, and yeah. So I'm probably gonna go with Drow, but let's go look at the rest here. Human, humans are so boring. Ooh, look at that. I don't even know if I can attempt to pronounce this race's name, you guys. Githyanki? Githyanki are peerless warriors from the Astral Plane, known for their legendary silver blades and red dragon mount red dragon mounts, excuse me? Bros. <laughs> they seek the total destruction of Mind Flayers, whose ancient empire enslaved the Githyanki for millennia. Yeah, in case you guys saw in that uh, opening cutscene there, it was this race that got the worm in her eye. And I know that's actually a playable character later on. That is, uh... Lizelle, I do believe, later on when it releases. I, th I think that's her character. I could be wrong, but I think so. Dwarf, not doing dwarf. I don't do dwarf in any game. Oh, hey, girl, you're cute as heck. Dang. It's the short haircut, guys. It does it for me. I just... I love short haircuts. Halfling? Oh, jeez. Ugh. No. God, no. We're doing Drow Elf, you guys. <laughs> Ugh. So, uh... Raised by Loth's cult in the city of Menzo and Wow. Okay, that word. Jesus. These Drow extol the virtues of their corrupt and merciless goddess. Loth marks her followers with, braid, with bright red eyes... So the Underdark will learn to fear Drow on sight. Okay. Yeah, I know. Wasn't that eye thing with the worm just disgusting? Oh, it was nasty. But it looks like you can be sub-races. Now, this is something they also said, that as the early access continues on, they're going to add more sub-races. So that's going to be pretty cool. Oh, I got to sneeze. Oh, I got to sneeze. I'm so sorry. When I sneeze, it's going to be loud. I'm, I apologize preemptively pre here. So these are the Seldar and Drow. Okay. Drow are the result of an ancient schism between the elven deities Corellian, Larethian, and Loth. The latter's treachery drove the Drow into the Underdark, where they splintered into warring factions. Seldarine Drow can be found seeking allies from all over Faerun, aiming to settle their conflict with Loth and each other by any means necessary. So I'm here in the Underdark, and I'm hearing a lot of familiar words. This D&D universe here for uh, Baldur's Gate. Wow, what's that book series? Oh, God, it's a really, really, really famous book series that goes into all of this. I think it's, I, th I think this is based in that same world. I can't remember for the life of me what the book series is called. So I can only go for two. Probably go for this one because I like the idea with the bright red eyes. Uh, Fey Ancestry, okay, Dexterity, Charisma, give me that Charisma, baby. Bards, Paladins, Sorcerers, and Warlocks use Charisma to, use Charisma as their spellcasting ability. The likelihood spells will land. Okay, that's cool. Rapier, Short Sword, Hand Crossbow, cool. Loth Drizzit. Loth Drizzit, the name sounds so familiar. So familiar. Oh, then, yes, yes, this is what we're going to choose. I like that hair, the way it looks. I don't know what those words mean, <laughs> Melissa. Drizzit the Erden. I don't know what that means. Sorry, I really don't. Appearance, baby! Hells. Something just woke up down here. That's a male voice. A tidy slot, but no room. Here we go. Okay, we'll go for that one then. It's probably the only one they have right now. Head. Three heads. Nah. Maybe. Five heads. Okay. Uh, Can I zoom in? Yeah, I can. That's what's up. Well, that's cute. All the freckles going on. I like that one. Oh, I like that one, too. Three and four are my winners so far. I'm gonna go for four. Yeah. Get a little bit of that going on in there. You know what I mean? And as far as skin colors... 
It's the main drow elf character from the book series you're thinking of. Yes, I thought that name sounded familiar. Drizzit, I didn't want to sound ignorant again, though, but I knew that sounded familiar, what you were saying. Yeah, yeah, so you know the book series I'm, I'm, that, that I'm talking about. I read half of the first book back when I was a kid, back in, like, high school. That was a long time ago. <laughs> oh, okay. God, I love those eyes. Oh, my God. Let's go down here, then. Purple? I like purple. Okay, I don't like to spend too much time here in, uh... Character creation. But dang. Some of these are dope. You've read the first six of those books? Woof! Yeah, here there's a lot. Like, a ton, a lot, a lot. I think I might go for one of the lighter shades, like right here. Yeah. Eye colors. Oh, girl. Yeah, I'm going for that one. I actually really like that one there. So let's go down to that. Hairstyles now, baby. Oh boy. No, let's go further up again. Oh boy, look at that hair. My god. Ew, god, no, gross. Get out of here. No. I don't want to choose long hair. What does that look like in the back? Okay. Not terrible. I want to choose like a like a pixie type of haircut. What is that? Oh my god. That's like... This is a... Uh, uh, the interview with the vampire. The little girl vampire haircut. Yep, that's what that is. I wish I could remember her name in the series. Oh, it's my favorite movie too. A little bit of Aloy right here. Look at that. <laughs> oh, ooh, no. Gross. Get out of here. Oh, I like that. I do like that. I want it to be shorter though. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Still want it to be shorter, but I like the way that looks in the front. No. Okay. We're getting there. Ooh, there it is. Oh, I like that a lot. So, 13 so far is my winner. Well, that's not bad. And these graphics are incredible. For real. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Yes. That looks like a chick you do not want to F with, okay? This is the type of girl who will take you home, have an amazing time with you, and just completely rock your world, and then in the morning, will steal everything blind from you and not even care. It's kind of the kind of the look I'm going for for this character. What else do we got? Ooh, I like that. That's the uh, my parents didn't love me enough when I was in high school type of look. That's really cute. I like that one too. Wow, I like a lot of these haircuts way more than I thought I would. Now. Oh god, what do I- ooh. That's- that- that's come back full circle to where we just were, so. Uh... It's either gonna be... 17, 16... Or 13. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys decide this one. Melissa, which one? Hairstyle 13... 18... Oh no, uh, 13, 17... Or 16. 13, 16, 17. Which one? Which one am I going with? By the way, I got a brand new camera for my face cam here. It runs so much better than my old one. Oh my word, it's so, so nice. Uh, 
Alright, uh, 13. You like number 13? Right there. Cool. Well, we're gonna go with number 13 then. Yep. That's good right there. Hair color. Now, here's where I'm conflicted, because... You know me. I like my redheads. <laughs> oh. Oh, girl. Stop. Stop it, girl. Stop it. Killing me with them eyes. But she is a drow elf. So let's click off of that and see what drow elf hair colors are appropriate. That is not appropriate, but I kind of love it. <laughs> no, I want to be an evil character. I mean... Oh god, uh, no. Uh -uh. We're going to go with... Uh, I want to do one of these red ones. Make her a little bit, a little bit different, you know? Make her stand out a little bit. Kind of the darker red, maybe? Let's go look at some of these other colors. Ooh, I like that, too. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Black, okay. Wow, look at these colors. Oh, my God. I've never been so conflicted with making a character in my life. Like I said at the beginning, I normally don't take very long in character creations. But just... This character looks really good. Like, I want to do her justice here, but I'm still thinking about the red. Yeah, yeah, going for the red. Sorry, red happening. Tattoo. Oh, okay. Really, 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 really chat. What type of a Cthulhu loving developer made this tattoo? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I like that. Actually, I don't. It's over there now. I thought that was like her makeup. Did her makeup change? No, it didn't. I just thought it did. I'm being dumb. Don't mind me. Oh, no. God, no. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. If it was just the eyes, maybe. There's that Cthulhu reference again. Oh, that's cool. Hey, tattoos are there. What's that over here? Something right there. I can't see what it is. Oh, God. Ooh, gross. Girl. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. Little rose over there. Yeah, so far, 14 is my winner here. And I don't normally do tattoos in games like this. I'm gonna go for 14. I really like that. I like that a lot. Not very many tattoo colors right now. Ooh. No. Yeah. I like that right there. We're going for it. And makeup. Let's just do a quick run through. Oh, my dear. Oh, oh, girl. Oh, girl. <laughs> Who wronged you? Who wronged you in life? Jeez. No makeup? Nah, I need makeup. Want to look hot. I'm going to be an evil character. In other words, if I can use my fancy looks to my advantage, you best believe it, I'm going to. I like number 9 so far. I think that's where I started. Yeah, I started at number 9. Or 11. I like 11. That's not bad. Makeup intensity? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going for that. I like that a lot. Has a little drawn in right there. Right there with sides as well. Yeah. I like that. Good. Go look at the colors, however. That is ridiculous and not happening. We're keeping it black. Yep. That's the appearance. <clears throat> class. Here's an important part, because to be an evil character, I can't be some classes. At least if it's following the normal for these types of games, and I can't. She is cute, isn't she? I, I, I love her. 
She's gonna be savage as heck though in this game. Like, I'm not gonna be a nice person on this playthrough. I tell you what. So cleric, uh, clerics are representatives of the gods they worship, yielding potent divine magic for good or ill. Subclass, oh, there's subclasses too. That's right. The developers were saying subclasses. They're gonna be adding more, just like the sub races. Okay. The life domain is an aspect of many good deities, offering spells that protect and restore the mind, body, and soul. Now I wonder, because normally an evil character couldn't be a cleric, but is there like a subclass for like an evil? The light domain is offered by deities of justice, majesty, primordial flame, that's not evil. Trickery domain. A domain shared by wicked, chaotic, and mischievous deities alike. Those who channel trickery specialize in deception and illusion magic. Bruh. Bruh, that's me right there, man. But I don't know if I want to be a cleric. Cleric would be cool. That, that, that definitely sounds... That sounds dope. Straight up, that sounds awesome. My deity is Loth. Yeah, it's what we figured it would be. It was Loth. Yep, can't change it. Because that's from the character creation screen. does sound fun. It really does, actually, yeah. So, resistance. What are cantrips? No, we'll look at that later. I'm just, I'm going through the classes right now. I kind of want to be a uh, magic class, not necessarily a fighter. Fighters have mastered the art of combat, wielding weapons with unmatched skill and wearing armor like a second skin. So does her weapon change? Oh, it did. So did her look. Girl, look at you. What do you look like as a cleric? Like that little... Oh, man. Ranger? Oh, girl. Look at you. Ranger. Rangers are unrivaled scouts and, tra and traggers. Homing a deep con... Deep... Wow, I cannot read right now at all. My God. Honing a deep connection with nature in order to haunt their favorite prey. Okay. Favored enemy. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Nature Explorer, Beast Tamer, Urban Tracker. I mean, I'm not going to do uh, Ranger. I never do Rangers in these games. A Rogue, maybe. Because I am going to be an evil character. Maybe a Rogue would be something that'd be worth it. I don't know. Maybe. Eh. Let's go see what the other ones are. I'm actually strongly considering Warlock. Strongly considering Warlock for this. Bound by a pact to an all-powerful patron, warlocks trade their loyalty for supernatural abilities and unique magic. Well, well, well. Well, 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 okay. Uh, subclass, the Fiend. Warlocks in service to fiends work towards corrupting destructive ends, intentionally or otherwise, and receive hellish blessings in turn. That sounds dope. <laughs> that sounds dope. What else we got? The Great Old Ones. Did I not just make a Cthulhu reference to her makeup, and now it's saying the Great Old Ones? I don't know if that's exactly the same thing as the Cthulhu Mythos, but... But come on now. The Outer Gods, Old Ones, all that jazz? Definitely influenced by Cthulhu, it has to be. Has to be. Really quickly, I'm going to... Where my mouse at? There it is. I'm gonna move my face to about right there. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm not covering up uh, everything there. And I'll move it again if I have to. So the great old ones. Warlocks bound to the... Cthulhu reference again. Bound to eldritch beings in their far realms work towards inscrutable goals gaining strange powers over entropy and the mind. That could actually be really sick. So it's the Fiend and the Great Old Ones for the Warlock. Let's go look at the Wizard real quick. Wizards master the arcane by specializing in the individual schools of magic, combining ancient spells with modern research. I mean, it sounds cool and all, but no, I'm going to go for the Warlock. I just, I like the way that sounds, you know? And... Cthulhu. Me, hello. I love Cthulhu Mythos. 
Oh, I can customize my cantrips, whatever that is, and my spells. This is very similar to Divinity Original Sin, so... Eldritch Blast, Evocation Cantrip. Conjure a beam of crackling energy that deals 1d10 force. Attack slave, ranged attack, range 18 meters. Is that a d20 attack save range? It looks like it. Uh, blade Warp. Abjuration Cantrip. Inflicts Blade Ward. Gain resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage from weapon attacks. Okay. And then spells. Armor of Agaths. Abjuration uh, spell. A spectral frost covers you, gain five temporary hit points, and deal five cold to any creature that hits you with a melee attack. Okay. And then Arms of Hadar. Necrotic. 2d6 necrotic. Call forth tendrils of dark energy. Targets take 2d6 necrotic and, can, and can't take reactions. I'm probably going to go with the default on this here for the cantrips and the uh, spells, but I want to see what all there is. Let's go here. Maybe I'll change it. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. So what is there? Chill touch. Necromancy. Necromancy. And it's ranged too. Assails a creature with the chill of the grave. It takes 1d8 necrotic and cannot regain hit points. Undead creatures also get disadvantage on attack rolls. Okay. And there's friends. Enchant a non-hostile creature to gain advantage on charisma checks against it. Oh, that could be fun. Chat, that could be really fun. That sounds... That sounds good right there. Mage hands. Create a spectral hand that can manipulate and interact with objects. Oh my god. They were saying... The developers were saying that this is going to be very... You interact with your... Uh, surroundings and all that like you like the environment around you can help and in the pl gameplay footage we've seen so far that's some funny stuff <laughs> create an illusionary image that distracts nearby creatures compelling them to investigate okay poison spray bruh range is three meters project a puff of noxious gas that deals 1d12 poison and then true strike Divine a character's defense to give you advantage to attack rolls against it. <laughs> okay, so what do I have now, man? The Eldritch Blast and the Blade Ward. Actually, yeah, we're going to keep those. I don't know what difficulty I'm playing on or if I can even choose a difficulty setting yet. So I'm kind of trying to... Yeah, I'm trying to be smart about this. Gain five temporary hit points. Yeah, so that's fine. Burning hands. Fire shoots from your outstretched fingers. It ignites anything flammable and deals 3d6. Ignites anything flammable. Again, using your environment, I bet. Inflicts charm. Bruh. <laughs> Magically charm a humanoid that you can see. Command. Halt. Command a creature to halt, preventing it from moving or taking action. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> Expeditious retreat. I ain't running. Hellish rebuke. The next time you take damage, you use your reaction to surround your attack in a hellish flames that deals 2d10 fire. That's pretty strong, you guys. That's powerful. Hex. Curse a creature to deal an additional 1d6 necrotic whenever you hit it with an attack. The creature also has a disadvantage on ability checks for the ability of your choosing. Okay. Protection from evil and good. Protect a creature against abjuration, celestial, elemental, fey, fiends, and undead. And then Witch Bolt. Oh, that sounds like fun. Call forth a beam of crackling pure energy. Deals 1d12 damage and links you to the target through an arc of lightning. That actually sounds sick. But I really like this one here, too. So, yeah. Oh, God, wait, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're just, just going to keep these here. Just going to keep the defaults. I don't know what's good or bad in this game yet. So I have 10 hit points. 
Warlock spell slots, wisdom saving throw, char uh, charisma saving throw, light armor, and simple weapons. So I have to use simple weapons and light armor. And my subclass feature is Dark One's Blessing. When you reduce a hostile creature to zero hit points, this gift from your patron grants you charisma modifier plus one level hit points. Okay. That's pretty dope. So yeah, we're going to keep these. Now let's go over here to my skills. You receive a bonus every skill that you are proficient in. This bonus increases as you gain levels in your class and applies to all checks for that skill. Okay, then. So I have... I have three here, but it says I only have two. Arcana. Arcana is knowledge of magic and its application, useful for interacting with enchanted items or powerful spells. Deception. Deception is the art of manipulating truth, allowing you to mislead others. I'm keeping that. Intimidation. Intimidation is the use of threats and speech, forcing others to break under your will. Oh, I'm keeping all those. Chat, I'm keeping all those. Yep. Keeping all of them. Skill without proficiency. So if I were to click on, say, just one of these, it'll move. Okay. Okay. Cool. But I'm keeping those skills there, so yeah. My abilities now. Okay, here's an important part here. Uh, okay. So it looks like it automatically assigned all my points. But it looks like if I want to... Yeah, I can go reset my points just like that, which I'm probably going to want to do. I'll probably be shooting in my foot doing it, but I'm going to. Proficiency bonus. This bonus gets added to the following dice rolls. Attack, spell attack, skills, and saving throws. Okay. That's very good. I know charisma is good for warlocks. That's why that's high. What about this, though? Slide of hand, I need that. Strength, I don't really need anything strength-wise, so just forget about that. Don't care about it. Constitution is my hit points. We'll keep that. Intelligence. Okay. So it seems like the game is definitely... Set your stuff up pretty good for, like, the default stuff. At least that's what it seems like to me. I want to go up here to my constitution. Negative one. Oh, I can't go up any higher. Is 16 the max? Oh, I think 16 is the max, you guys. Yeah. So then we'll go up in uh, intellect instead. Give me more of that arcana. That's my ability there. This is my character. Pretty good. Took me only way too long to make. <laughs> so, without further ado, y'all, let us venture forth into the world of Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Let's Tell do it. Me, who do you dream of at night? Oh. Well, 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 this is a new thing here. What do you dream of? Who attracts you? Attracts you? I'm gonna choose another drow. Female, of course. Very interesting. I'm going to make her look very similar to my character, because if I'm going to be a character that's evil, sociopathic, and all that jazz, then you know she's going to love herself. So she's going to love others who look a lot like her. That's, that's, what, I'm, that's what I'm going for here. Eye color to be like a darkish red. And hairstyle. Bruh. 
I didn't choose it before. We're choosing it here. <laughs> That's happening. And it's going to be... What, that black, gray? Brown? No, I'm not going with any of those crazy colors. We'll go for you. I like that one. Yeah, I like that. My love doesn't have any tattoos. She just looks awesome just like that. So, this is very interesting here. This must be for like a uh, love interest in the game. Maybe, I don't know. We're in Adventure 4th though. 